The House adjourned. Budget committee meetings canceled. The political finger pointing took to Twitter. Democratic State Rep Jason Dunnington tweeting, The Oklahoma House just adjourned for the weekend. No budget, no revenue, no bipartisan meetings, no leadership. Hashtag clock ticking. Twitter sphere sniping also coming from the majority party. Governor Fallon followed in similar fashion, with the House GOP replying, The Speaker didn't see the governor's car in the parking lot when he left at midnight. With time ticking away to fix the state's current financial bind, you'd think action at the state capitol would be reading more like a page turner. Hi there. Hi. Representative Enner. Who was at the state capitol? I scoured the floors. Yes, yes saying the representative isn't in. Some reps I missed by minutes. Others? Hours. I did run into Democratic state reps Regina Goodwin and George Young. We're the ones who are stopping the progress. That really doesn't seem to make a whole lot of sense to me. And they have not even presented anything to us that we can reject. Young and Goodwin, as well as House Democratic leadership, are adamant about increasing the state's oil and gas production tax back up to 2014 levels. Republicans are proposing raising cigarette and motor fuel taxes a motor fuel tax that Democrats balk at. The time to act is now. After chastising both sides for partisan politics Wednesday, I asked the governor about the adjournment. Do you want to be seeing legislators doing more than going back to their districts? Well, I think we shouldn't be going home on Fridays with the legislature. I think we should be working, finding a solution to our problem. Fallon called on legislators to find courage and put forward solutions. Well, hey, I think I showed my courage when I gave my say say speech back in but February. But you have the courage to raise the gross production I, tax. I, I've actually said I'd be happy to look at any different issue, but I need them to come along too.